Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Project Zomboid Survival. Remember last time? Came to New Denver, found the best shop in the world, and then managed to fortify myself into a building. So, got to get out of here and start looking for a place to stay properly. And I'm just going to get rid of this barricade. Hopefully. Hmm, yeah. Don't know what's going on here. There we go. Or get rid of the door completely. And what I'm going to do is just head down to this little street down here. And uh, looks like the kind of retail area or commercial district. Hopefully I can find a supermarket, find some stuff to do some pickling. And then set up a base in New Denver. So I've got somewhere to head to and from. From uh, the old fort and the new one. It's not going to be as big and as uh, fucking over the top as the other one. Oh, the other one is over the top. But... Uh, just need to make something simple, just so I know I've definitely got a fortified place to stay, which has got some goods in it, in case anything goes wrong. So, right, look like we've got a supermarket there. It's for sale, though, so I don't know if it's going to be empty. Is that one dead? No. Cough. Right, pretty goosed already. I'm not long woken up, which is fucking irritating. Might actually go and get my shotgun to deal with this properly. Don't really want to attract too many Zeds about. Fuck. Okay, right. Definitely going to get my shotgun. That was too much of a close call. Um, I have to do this pretty quickly, though. As there are quite a few Zeds loitering around. I haven't really got a base. And now the only base that I did have hasn't got a fucking door. So. Axe is on a problem anymore. With the magical DIY shop. Someone dead? Yeah. Um, I can now actually just fix and repair every single axe in the fucking world with the amount of duct tape, glue, wood glue, tape, adhesive tape, and stuff like that that I've found. So, all pretty good stuff. So, let's just equip this into both hands. Really do with fucking having a rest or something like that. And what I'm going to do is just take these and drop the axe off. Shit, am I? Nope. Have to be quick. Come on, man, hurry up. Right, there we go. I've still got some beta blockers as well, which I can just take. Speed up the reloading process. Right, okay. So let's just try and group these down towards the bottom, get rid of a lot of them. Go into the supermarket and uh, sort shit out from there. Hmm, fucking aiming's awful. Um, let's just wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. I need to reload. Come on. Oh, shit. So that's a few dead, and I'm still nowhere near the fucking supermarket. How many shells have we got left? Four and five in the barrel, I think. Or five in the actual clip. Right, unfortunately, as I've stupidly put my fucking axe back. Ah, holy shit. Alley of Doom. Whoa. i have to go get the other box of shells in a minute. There didn't seem to be an incredible zombie problem, um... On the way down here, it seems over the last few days, maybe me staying somewhere has actually attracted them. And obviously with being kind of closer to the centre of town, it's going to be a lot more than there are on the outskirts. Shit. Right, I'll have to go back and get the box of shells. And uh, I'll probably leave the axe there for the time being. And once I've cleared the area, I'll come back with the axe in, uh, in some good safe mode. And be able to just kind of sort that door out. I didn't realise there was doors on the side of that. Let me guess. Right. Twat. Absolute twat. Right, so let's just get that box of shotgun shells open. Could do with filling up my water bottle as well. Just reload this shit. Do need a rest. Stuff's going against me recently, other than the DIY shop, but uh, a bit of good old-fashioned Kentucky karma, whatever the fuck that is. Holy shit. 
I mean, this isn't as bad as West Point or anything like that. It's not to that extreme. Um, I have actually faced the reality that to find Jaws and Lids, I'm probably going to have to go to West Point and head to the supermarket there. Whoa, shit. Really don't want to have to, you know, aid myself back to full health or anything like that. I haven't really got the time on a pretty tight time schedule over the next few days, so need to keep out of trouble. And I think these shotgun shells are going to go through pretty quickly. Right, let's just get one coming over the fence. Shit. Fucking hell. Oh shit. Big trouble in little New Denver. Oh, big New Denver, I'm not too sure I haven't explored it all, so... <laughs> It'd be a pretty dodgy geographical guess. And this this is the problem with using a shotgun, obviously. It's kind of... If I would have done this with an axe, it's more dangerous because you've got to get in close, but... Um, you know, the sound does attract a lot. The axe is silent like the... Uh, like an eagle? <laughs> I don't know. Eagle's, eagle silent? I've never met one. Fucking hell. Absolutely chewing through ammo at the moment. Probably do with taking some more beta blockers. Slow that heart rate right down. So I'm almost sleeping as I walk. Come on. Okay. Defo don't want to lead this towards the only place where all my gear is stored. Holy shit cakes. Fucking hell. Right, okay, this is escalated pretty quickly. Um, what seemed to be a handful. This is probably all my own fault. But let's just loop around these fuckers. They're not incredibly clever. Off. Oh shit. How much ammo have we got left? One. Magical. Okay, now this is a shit situation. So, what I'm going to have to do is loop these round, head back to where my gear is stored, drop the shotgun off. Oh my god, they're coming from upstairs now as well. Um. Oh shit. Either that or... Oh my god, right, I'm kind of screwed at both ends. And it's now nearly night time as well, so a very good day in New Denver. A really good day. I've now technically got no weapons. There's like a Royal Rumble going on outside my base. What's this place? Oh, Zed's inside there as well. Great shit. Um, hmm. I mean, that's like a half-built fence. That would be a pretty good place to make a base. But I just need somewhere to stay and just chill out, you know. I wouldn't be able to use my axe anyway at this stage because I'm absolutely fucking shattered. And so much so, I've just got stuck in some trees. So let's just try and crank this open. Hopefully I managed to get away from the hustle and bustle of the uh, commercial district. Really? I've never seen anyone actually try and open a window like that before. So... Um, shit. Where's my hammer? Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Right, let's just eat some chips. Get our shit together. Eat some chips and have a little think about what the fuck I'm doing. Um, okay, can I get into this place? Don't know what the fuck this is. Looks like a kind of little Ikea style furniture shop. So bad at opening windows. Like,. So, so bad. Doesn't seem to be anything around, so... Should be alright. Hopefully we'll get this open. I think I'm actually getting worse at opening windows. There we go. Alright, so hopefully if I can just... Let's just take a look, see what's around there. Absolutely nothing. Superb. 10 out of 10 shop. Plants farming and some shit like that. Oh, fuck off. Okay, I should be alright in here actually. Um, not too sure what the fuck this is. 
but I can actually fill up my water bottles and there could even be an axe in here which would be pretty decent but no, it looks like there's fuck all did spot something then? what the fuck was it? ah, shotgun shells, oh no, shit, right, don't want to do that so at least I can actually fight my way out of something um, that's a pretty lucky find to be honest, it was either that or an axe was probably the only thing that was gonna get me through anything I do actually need to take a trowel as well, so just chuck that in the back reload this shit, and uh, then probably get some sleep said pretty horrible day, uh, not a lot went right so, what can you do? Let's just load these in, and I think there's a chair over there, which is going to be my bed for the evening. So, I'll get some rest and try again in the morning. Hopefully, we'll be able to get. And there's some more shotgun shells. Hopefully, we'll be able to get kind of closer towards where I need to get to. Another sledgehammer there as well. It's pretty fucking decent. If only there was a gun store which needed a sledgehammer. Um. What else we got? It's not funny fucking jars though, like that's the only thing I'm technically looking for. I did actually come to New Jer New Jersey, New Denver, to uh to find just jars and lids and I've yet to find any. But hopefully the supermarket holds the answer and I can go from there and pickle away the rest of my days. Woken up nice and early, probably carrying a bit too much stuff, so I have some chips ahoy whatever the fuck they are, and uh, head out, try and get back to, oh, probably best checking their boxes, try and get back to that supermarket, get some shit done over there, over there, over there, um, sorry, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, okay, so let's just loop through, and that's the DIY store of magic right there with the door open, so that's probably where I'll build a base, just because of how convenient everything will be. Do need to clear this area out though. Right, let's take some bigger blockers before anything. Get that shit done. I only had to clear out a, a few hordes of zombies, kind of on the the way into New Denver and the way through. Um, and all shit seems to have kind of hit the fan at the moment. Like these groups of fuckers. Oh shit. But I've got like 24 shells, I think, which is uh, which is pretty good. Or I did have 24 shells. Oh shit. Just need to stay pretty frosty here. Talking of frosty, it should actually be winter soon. So I'll probably get some snow in these areas. Oh shit, they got caught then. And uh, the overgrowth's getting pretty bad, and that's a bit of a problem simply because of how much it's actually breaking my line of sight. So if I'm looking to an area to see if it's, uh, you know, if it's overloaded with zeds or some shit like that, then it's not good for me. And these fuckers hide everywhere, they are sneaky little bitches. Oh shit, right, I need to reload again, I think. Holy shit, I've fucking chewed through some ammo recently. This is the beauty of the axe. Duck take this to Tony ammo. <laughs> Alright, just wait for this one to get up. Wait for both of them to get up. Shit. Right, and I think I'm now out of ammo. Which is a bit of a fucking problem. Um, so let's just head into here. And hopefully find another axe. I can't imagine there'll be a shortage of them in the DIY shop of joy. A hammer saw, temp peg, fishing rod. Might actually go and do some fishing later. There we go. Let's just equip this shit in both hands. And I'll leave my shotgun here. And I'll probably go about fortifying this at some stage. I think there's an upstairs bit as well, by the looks of things, just over here. Um, let's just go and nail this one. There we go. Pretty fucking tired already though, so I'm gonna need a rest or a little snooze or something like that. And uh, my hitting skills aren't packing as much punch as they should. 
So what I'm going to do is actually just cut down some little trees and just fortify these windows pretty quickly. Barricade them up. Just so I've got a bit of safety, or at least the illusion of it. And uh, at least I can go back and forth to there. I, know, I can't cut this fucking tree down. Right, there we go. Just need to get the angle of the dangle, that was all. Alright, so the should... I think I've actually got a saw on me. And I can actually just saw these logs on the floor and use the planks as I need them. I think my hammer's actually in the, the little storage area where I spent the night last night. Well, not last night. The night before, was it? Yeah, the night before. Losing track of the days. Fucking hell, this bitch won't go down. There we go. Right, so, can I saw these? Let's just saw these up, and then I'll barricade the windows with my newly found planks. So stupidly, while I was sawing planks, I managed to get scratched. Um, I don't know, this could be a major problem. I could actually be zombified now, which is just a horrible, horrible end, but I'm not too sure. Um, I've actually got a first aid kit back in the little storage room, so I could use that shit. Just need to find a hammer, there we go. And just put these barricades up. And the next few days, probably going to be nursing myself back to health. Uh, it was a really stupid thing. I wasn't paying an incredible amount of attention. I was just kind of, you know, getting, getting into my fucking, into my sawing and stuff like that. You know, it really takes up the attention. Do actually need some more nails, I think. So let's just open that shit up. And I'll actually barricade these from the safety of the inside. I'm actually in pain now, though, which is strange. Um, I'm going to have to get some clothes ripped up for some bandages and some shit like that. I just need to check the amount of windows on this place. Put two on everything. I've got eight planks on me at this moment. I can also go outside and shit like that. Oh shit. Let's just barricade that one. Don't know why I was trying to barricade the other one. Right, okay, so that's my planks done. It's actually this bitch right here that scratched me. What a bitch. What a bitch. Okay. Let's just actually go inside. Um, I could do with some food and stuff like that. But this this shop's just just amazing. Like there's, there's just everything a man could need. Everything a man could need. And this little office there. So I could actually sleep on this chair. Get some rest on there. There's also an upstairs bit which I'm going to go and investigate now. Um be pretty sketchy, but what the fuck? Okay, it's got like a lovely little kitchen there. Just want to go and clear this first, see if there's not any zombies or anything like that. Seem alright in there. What about this room? Probably gotta be this room. No? Yeah, right, okay. I am fucking... Oh shit, someone just got hit there. Outside, definitely. Or someone's just turned or something like that. Okay, so we've got some canned beans and some bleach. As we all know, that is a magical combination of foods. I do need some more food at the moment. I'm actually going to store some stuff up here, though, while I am here. Um, so let's chuck stuff in this little locker thing. Or filing cabinet, or whatever the hell it is. Oh, there's my first aid kit. Right, so I will keep that on me. Because I'm as stupid as I was a second ago. Then uh, I'm probably going to fucking need it as well. We'll actually leave the tweezers there and the disinfectant. In fact, I might disinfect a rag and just put that on there. Just to get kind of ahead of the game and shit like that. I'm not actually in pain or anything. Um, my body status is actually okay. So let's just shut this door. Um, right, in fact, let's get this bottle of disinfectant. Put that in the main inventory. Have I actually got any rip sheets? Yeah, I've got nine on me. So let's just remove this dirty rag. Okay. And then I just need to disinfect this rag. Let's disinfect my body. Um, a bandage with a sterilized rag. And it should be good to go. Alright, it's going to leave me in a bit of pain for a while, which is a problem. So I think what I'm going to do is have a tiny bit of rest. 
and then look to fortify the rest of this house up and then preferably head to that supermarket get some jars everything would be magic and chances are I'm going to need some painkillers as well and could be on the way to dying I'm not too sure not too sure at all don't know if I was scratched and infected or anything like that um, but pretty bad stuff so far pretty bad stuff my pain has actually gone away uh, I'm no longer in like a serious shitty situation so I just need to pick up some more of these planks as I've spotted some windows that do actually need boarding up and uh, yeah pretty pretty good if I do get through it uh, seems to be back to okay at the moment could do with some other stuff maybe disinfect it with some whiskey just for the the shits of it and uh, you know get pumped off the whiskey or whatever I'm not too sure so how many planks have I got on me now? six Right, fuck it, that should do. Uh, I don't need to plank the upstairs floors, but there are two windows here which I'm pretty concerned about, so let's just hop over there. Barricade this shit up. And this as well. I might actually barricade this door, as the Zeds have got a tendency. If, uh, if called upon in numbers, to actually uh, just smash the fuck through doors. Let's put two barricades over that. Right, there we go. Um, we've got any windows at the back? I'm not too sure. Right, there's one there as well, so... And there's a fucking other one as well. Is that all my planks? I should... I think I'll be okay there, to be honest. Um, could do with actually opening all these doors, just in case I do need a quick in or out route. So, let's just head back in. Now, what I'm going to do is... Need to find some food fairly sharpish. I'll drop a disinfectant off at one of these places just for the time being. I will actually organize everything into neat little piles <laughs> and, uh, and all that good shit. I'm not too sure if I did actually drop any food into here. Uh, let's just take a look. Duct tape. I mean, I could, I could use the pistol. I'm not too keen on it though. Um, it's not my favorite weapon to say the least. Let's just see if there's anything in this shop. Um, I'm not going to be able to open that window, unfortunately. I should be able to take out a few strays just with the axe. What have we got in here? Um, hmm. Is this Herogenesis or whatever the fuck it is? Some interesting shops. An inter interesting fucking retail district. Right, I'm going to get into that food market, I think. Nothing else over there. I'm pretty hungry. I've got some chips upstairs back at the uh, the DIY base. Yeah, right, fuck that. Conga line going on down there. Um, right, okay. Hmm. Oh, what the fuck is up here? Don't want to get trapped up these stairs. Right, fuck that. Fuck that. Okay, right, what do we got here? It's a pretty smart shop. Uh, tea bags, looks like a coffee house kind of thing. Bread. Old bread. Old bread. Cupcake. Magic times. Should cheer everyone up. Get my cupcake on. Uh, just head towards the kitchen, see what else is in here. Shit, fucking hell. I think I'm going to need maybe a good two boxes of shotgun shells to actually get through that place. But I think what I'm going to do first is go and get my pistol and just churn through that pistol ammo. Um, kind of one shot at a time, really. I mean, it's probably not the best way to go about it, but you know, I've just found a shitload of cupcakes. Feeling good. And I uh, want to get used to using my new pistol. So let's just head out. It might be a, a case of actually what to do in the morning. Doing it at night could be a really bad idea. And a few of these are actually starting to head up, so let's just take these away. Okay, right, they're both done in. So I think I'm going to head back, eat some cupcakes. Cupcakes? Cupcakes. i just kill these three. And uh, basically once I've killed them, these three, eat some cupcakes. Head to sleep, get some pistol ammo, some pistol shit, 
get my actual pistol, obviously, because it'd be pretty useless without just throwing bullets at people, or zombies, whatever. And, uh, should be good to go from there onwards. But, time to get some rest. Probably gonna sleep on this luxurious couch. And, uh, or maybe that couch, I'm not too sure. Pretty interested in this jukebox, though. Yeah, pretty good little house. Got some seating, kitchen, nice little bathroom. And, uh, you know, obviously a jukebox, which is just pretty majestic for any household. But, time to get some sleep and get used to using my pistol in the morning. Looking up bright and early. Well, not so bright, but definitely early. And, um, I'm going to get used to using my pistol now. Today is the day of the pistol, so let's just grab that shit. I'll actually take my axe with me at this point. Uh, I've got four boxes of rounds for this, which is pretty good. Just eat a cupcake to get myself going. Not like, not sexually or anything like that. I'm going to leave my saw there. And I'm actually going to leave my hammer there as well. And let's just equip this shit as primary. I don't know if it's actually got a full clip in there, but... You know, do need to open up some rounds anyway. Right, let's get shooting. Uh, probably best taking some beta blockers on my way down. Get prepped for this shit. I thought I would actually get some kind of immunity to shock over the zombies by this point. After being around them consistently for the best part of a few months. But it doesn't seem that way. Fuck. It sounds so wank, the fucking pistol compared to the, uh, the shotgun's brilliance. How the fuck aren't I... Really? Fucking really? Right, this weapon is dog shit. Or well, I am dog shit using this weapon. Wow. I'm pretty certain I'm... Right, there we go, there's one. Right, I'm gonna have to get used to using this some way or another, so... Shit, I've got a dirty bandage as well. <sighs> what the fuck? I mean, that's that's pretty bad shit, so... I'm just gonna go into this bit of safety. I should have actually remembered to change my bandage. Let's remove that shit. And just bandage that with the standard one for the time being. I think I'm actually alright. I'm not showing any signs of zombification or anything yet. There's no anxiety or anything, so... It's pretty good stuff. Anything that is bad is my fucking shooting is fucking dreadful. How is it that bad? How the fuck is it that bad? Ah, fuck off. Right, I need to actually open up a, another box of rounds. I think I did just open two then. Really? Fucking really? There we go. What the fuck? Fucking hell. Definitely a shotgun, man. On this 9mm fucking gangster bullshit. To be honest, I'm, I fucking might as well use an axe. Like, might as well use a fucking axe. Ah, this is just attracting fucking loads around my base as well. Fucking dreadful with a pistol. Alright, I'm actually just going to deliberately go through the majority of these rounds. Um, simply because I'm going to be shit with them either way. Especially until I get a bit more experience with firearms. And stuff like that. There we go. Ooh, hello. I actually could look where the fuck I'm aiming. Stamp on that motherfucker's head. Stamp on his head. Right, so I did manage to kill quite a few. Um, even with my Super Soaker 5000. Or the fucking firepower equivalent of. And let's just try and get into here. I think this is actually a fresh food store. 
So, I just need to get my axe out. Okay, let's get through these fucking doors, see what we've got. Could be another cupcake shop, doesn't look that way. It's gonna be a shitload of rotten fruit, I think. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. Pepper, chips, huh? take them. Always take the chips. Some more chips as well. Some more chips. Leave that orange soda for the time being. Nothing in there. I mean, there could be some Zeds in. Yep. Oh, shit. I just shut myself in. Alright, that was a fucking bad idea. So let's just have a drink just to get me over the, uh, the torment of what's just happened. I have to be fairly quick as well. Ooh, hello. Right, what have we got in here? Banana. No. Nope. Nothing there. I mean, again, this would be really good at the start of the apocalypse. Eggplant? Not an eggplant, that's a watermelon. Fuck that. Right, okay. So what have we got over here? Nails. Don't need them. It's the last thing I need at the moment, in fact. I really just want to get into this fucking supermarket. A lot of the Z seem to have cleared off, though. At least for the time being. Shit. Oh, fucking shit, the bed. That was, that was fucking so stupid. Magazines on the K. Right, some books. Come on, just give me some fucking jars, man. I just want some jars. Okay, what is all this shit? It's like an orange soda stand. Is this a bookshop? What the fuck is this place? Like, they do not look like cigarettes, I'm afraid. Um, concrete powder. Okay. So I can actually concrete some walls with the amount of that shit that's going around, but let's just shut that over again. This is a massive bookshop. What looked like a supermarket is a, is a bookshop. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, I suppose. Well, let's head further down. Probably going to be some more Zeds somewhere. Um, is this a house or a shop? Or... I hate getting fucking trapped in enclosed spaces. What the fuck is this place? This is probably a supermarket. <laughs> the baffling times of New Denver. Okay, what have we got? Cooking. Right, they are actually books. Alright, fuck this shop off for a game of soldiers. And let's head down even further. Fucking shattered again and getting nowhere very quickly. Fuck. Shit. These fucking zombies in New Denver are fucking strange bastards. Just sit down, bitch. There we go. Right, so I've certainly killed a few zombies over the last few days, I know, which I suppose is a very good thing. What the fuck are they all waiting for? Me, obviously, but... Right, I need to go and rest again. Fucking hell. This whole management shit, it's hard work. It's real hard work. So, uh, go back. Manage my rest by having a little snooze or something like that. Holy shit, are they logs out there? That's pretty good. A little loggers camp. How there's no logs in a pile of logs, I'm not too sure, but... You know, that's fine. What is this place? Really want to check inside. Yeah. Ah, for fuck's sake. Right, there we go. It's just someone's house. I don't think it is someone's house. Fucking strange house. Like a doctor's surgery or something like that. This looks like a staff room. Lettuce, pencil. Great. So, I'm actually going to rest up here. Um, just get my shit together. And then head back and try and explore even more of the commercial district. I've had a bit of a rest and decided to just keep on going. 
I'm going to try and face this horde of zombies head on. Hopefully not literally, like with my head, or I'll be dead and stuff. Just need some chips for some energy. Come on, come face. Right. Fucking one bomb in every single one of these. Probably a bad idea to call them over. Getting there, slowly but surely, just picking these off. Alright, there we go. Ooh, shit. It's always one. Dead. Let's just check if any of these have got some decent shit on them. One of them had a pistol, but a knife. I wonder if that's what they were using for weapons before they turned. Um, I assume so with the pistol. Uh, like the butter knife and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool way to think. Okay. Alright, let's just check what's in here. I think I might actually end up heading back to the old base in the next few days. Um, can't seem to find a lot around here. I've been very impressed and I think New Denver's a lovely area, but got to get back to building the base, keeping that shit going. And uh, probably going to be heading on to West Point in the next few days. Um, you know, just trying to get, trying to get that shit sorted. And, uh, you know, finding these jars, probably go to the gun store, stuff like that. And I can now take an axe and a shitload of repairing stuff all the way back up, which is good. And I have got at least somewhere fortified if I do decide to come back here in the near future. Something along those lines. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. So what do we got in here? This little metal, metal cabinet. Okay, rope, don't need, rope top, 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 alright, so there's absolutely fuck all in there, alright, what have we got in here, I just, I just want to find like one jar and one lid, that'd be fine, just at least so I can pickle something and be fucking happy, I mean, I've got enough non-perishable, perishable, 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 uh, perishable goods back at four higher, so, yeah, that's not a major problem. I should survive through the winter, especially if I loot and actually consume stuff properly and effectively. I should be fine. But I just want to know that I can actually do that. And obviously the more that I do find, the better. But uh, I haven't even found a single one yet. Uh, could be a case of just drinking vinegar instead. Uh, just getting that lovely, that lovely fucking fresh taste. There we go. So what else have we got around here? Might as well check. Holy shit. I'm going to check a lot of this stuff before I do head home. Um, and I mean proper home as well. You know, back to Muldrogue. And, uh, yeah, it should be good. As I said, now I've got no real excuse not to make that base, like, impenetrable. Um, simply because... Shit. That's if we do survive, uh, simply because, you know, it should be fine to use the axe a lot. Sorry, I'm concentrating there. Uh, it should be fine to use the axe a lot, you know, with the amount of duct tape and stuff like that. And then I am going to definitely head towards West Point. There is also the shopping centre in North West Point, which I would need probably a good couple of hundred shots to get through. Uh, with a shotgun, certainly not with a pistol, which seems to be the most fucking useless weapon around if you're not incredibly highly skilled with firearms, which unfortunately I am not. I'm uh, more of an axe man and a shotgun, because you can't really miss with a shotgun, because uh, it does the work for you. I think if it did actually use a, uh, a pistol for long enough, you know, it is really direct and stuff like that, so it should be quite good if I can actually get there, but just going to check on my health status. Check myself up, and I'm going to actually remove that bandage. Just put a clean one on for the morning, and for the journey back up to the old fort. 
I've woken up and I'm now going to get some shit together to head back to the old base with. I'm not actually too sure what you use screws for. Let's try and open a box of these. Some screws there, what the fuck? Put that shit back in a box. I'm actually starting to get cold now as well, which shows that winter is on its way. Um, which is bad and pretty decent at the same time. Big fan of the snow, even though it's going to make it extremely hard to survive. I've actually got another shotgun back at the base, so I'm going to leave that there. In favour of carrying stuff like wood glue back. And duct tape and all that good shit. So, where is the duct tape? Okay, let's grab as much of that shit as I possibly can. Wood glue as well. Fishing line glue. I'll take glue as well. Probably do with actually taking... I'm going to take one of these saws. Gives me a brand new saw then. Alright, yeah, I don't know where I put my other saw actually, so... Uh, duct tape. Yeah, I might actually take a tent kit. I'm not sure. I mean, I should hopefully get back within one day. Um, the south part of Muldrag isn't incredibly bad to get through, especially after a lot of clearing, but there could have been some migration since I last passed through there, and they could actually be down there waiting for me. So let's just see what I've actually got. Right, got canned beans, cupcake, so I do need to take a new hammer as well. Let's take some more duct tape. Um, take a hammer too. And I think it should be good. Let's just have another look through the other room. I said I can always come back here at some stage if if it did get desperate for anything and stuff like that. And to be honest, I might actually just try and find a new axe as well. I could take two back, but I've got two broken ones back at the old base, so it'd be pretty, pretty pointless. Let's just look what else we've got. Glue, wood glue, take that shit back more duct tape a lot of duct tape in this area okay still no jaws though still no jaws right so how much duct tape have I got I've got 12 rolls of duct tape so I think I think if I still has the gas I should be fine with that but why not take another one and take some more wood glue as well so how much wood glue have I got six of them so it should be able to do a pretty decent rebuild job on a lot of the other axes and stuff like that. If I can take some more wood glue. And I'm going to head to the place where I spent the first night. Or the second night, I think it was, I'm not too sure. And just grab the other bits. Okay, so that should keep me going for a long time. Got a sledgehammer there. Um... It's just a bit risky taking a sledgehammer because of how heavy it is. I do get kind of caught up and then completely lumbered with it. And I'm actually going to take this new axe. Let's just take that one instead. In fact, I might actually take the other one in my backpack. If possible. Oh shit. Let's quit that with both hands. Don't be running around with that in one. Actually, take that. This could be a bit too heavy. Yeah, I'm gonna be a bit, a bit fucking heavy at the moment. I'm afraid. So just, just eat a shitload. A lot of my crops are actually gonna be rotten by the time I do get back to Fort Hare. I think, um, which could be a major problem. But as I said, I've got enough stuff to get me through winter, which looks like it's heading that way already. Now it's actually raining at the moment as well, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, simply because the fact I could catch a cold, but I've got to deal with any Zeds unless I see anything spectacular. And uh, just head right out of town, head back to the fort, and hopefully do a tiny bit more building work. I managed to leave New Denver without a hitch, uh, now on the road back home. And yeah, pretty good. Kept my energy up by eating food and snacking every kind of now and then and stuff like that so I've now only got a can of beans on me to get me home but I've got two axes a lot of repair stuff and some good shit like that which is uh, which is fucking superb really means I can kind of fortify this base and get ready to kind of head up to West Point to try and find some pickling stuff 
And uh, yeah, just go from there. Get some good shit together. I'm actually pretty tired, so if I remember correctly, I did actually stay in a warehouse on my way up here. So I'm going to go there for a rest. I did actually forget to bring a tent kit with me after making a point that I was going to take a tent kit. But an axe is worth more than the tent kit, definitely. Um, certainly worth more than the tent kit, especially if I can get a rest on the way home. Just maybe snooze for an hour or sit down for a half an hour or something like that. Just get my shit together. I think this is actually the warehouse up here. I'm actually surprised at how quickly I managed to get out of New Denver. Um, it only took me the best part of three hours, which is pretty good, considering. Um, now back in Kentucky. And hopefully, it'll probably take me another two or three hours to get back from this warehouse, which I think is up here, um, to my base, to the fort. So I can then go from there and just get some shit together. I will need to do a tiny bit more looting in between the building, but I know I've got a decent amount of stuff there. Um, hopefully some of the stuff's actually come to fruition. Some of the vegetables and vegetation and stuff like that I've got there. And I can eat that. A lot of the stuff will be rotten, which is you know, quite unfortunate. It took a lot of effort. I'm actually fucked now. Um, I hope this is actually the right road. Oh, this will be a shame. I'm not even too sure if this is the right way. Hmm. I, I actually am pretty certain I've got the wrong way. I think I've took the left turn off that road too quickly. So I'm just heading north. I'm going to carry on. I'm kind of past the point of no return, to be honest. And take a right up here. And that should me, should me, should take me back towards, uh, towards the fort, I think. I'm just not too sure how high this road or this little kind of opening is going to take me back. But, yeah, a lot of trees are growing and stuff like that, so it will get pretty hazy soon. And the fact that I might not actually be able to see anything. And uh, it could be just like fucking I am legend. I am legend. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it could be pretty dodgy, but, you know, got some little young trees here. I don't think I've actually cut them down yet. They're above my swing height, or below my swing height, rather. And, uh, yeah, could get sketchy, but winter is coming. Winter is on its way, so... I need to find a sweatshirt, I think, because I'm getting cold at night. Well, it was the other day. I'm not too sure if my original fort, which I'm going back to now, will actually be slightly warmer inside. Um, and that is providing that this is actually going the right way. This could take me directly into West Point, which could be a problem. And would mean I'm probably running for the next 48 hours non-stop. Which means I'd die because I've only got a bit of food on me. So yeah. Hopefully do find a road fairly fucking soonish. Like this is a huge track. And uh, I'm blowing up my arse big time. I haven't actually got a can opener to open the only bit of food that I've got on me. Uh, and I've worked out that I can't actually drink vinegar either. Which is a shame. And I've got any bleach to top myself if the worst came to worst. So would be a case of just smashing my head against the tree for a few hours until uh, until I didn't wake up but hopefully I do find somewhere hopefully I can find one of these roads leading off it or something along those lines well, there's quite a few zeds around here um, I'm actually going to kill this guy for his sweatshirt so nice purpley pink sweatshirt there let's wear that shit alright looking good Looking fucking good. So let's just rip up this vest. I do need some more sheets anyway. So, Right. Did I not rip that up? I don't think I did actually rip that up. Right, let's just get into a clearing before I do that. Right, good to go. Good to go. So, you know, if anything did come out today, I've just got a luxurious pink sweatshirt. And uh, at least if I do die... Then uh, I die in a bright colour. Ah, wait, that is a fucking road. There we go. So, right, let's take a right on here and see where this leads us. Um, I think I'm not zombified at all, or hopefully I don't think I'm on the way to actually any type of zombification either, which is which is fucking magical, really. So, I didn't change that bandage this morning, and it's still clean, which means I'm not bleeding through it. It's a good way to tell how fucked up you are. I don't actually know where I am. There's a road sign there as well. Um, it's got to be pretty close to the centre. 
And there's probably going to be quite a bit of zombie aggro as well, which could be a major problem. Um, a zombie behind me there, it's just popped out the trees. Uh, let's try and work out where the fuck I am. Do need a rest though. I probably need a rest before I go through the centre as well. If there's a few hundred of them, you've got to be able to wriggle, sprint, wriggle, sprint. And at the moment, I'm just going to kind of pant, jog, pant, walk, you know, so it could be pretty bad. Alright, do I take a... no, fuck it, let's carry on. Just going to leave that zombie to it. Where the fucking hell am I? I might not even be in fucking Muldrug, where I think I am. Could be in, like... I don't know. Still in New Denver or something like that. Maybe I've just looped around on myself. Fucking hell, this is a long trek. I can barely run now as well. Okay, what's this up here? Seems to have a little path. Let's follow this shit. Should have followed this shit. Oh, God. The fucking decisions when you're tired. Pretty bad. Uh, I've actually reached somewhere. Uh, it looks like a construction site. And if I'm correct, this is actually by the lumber mill, I believe. Um, there's a lot of fucking zombies around, though. All right. Will I be able to actually fucking stay in there, though? Hmm. Let's take a few of these out, if possible. We're not going to be able to fight any of these off, unfortunately. My hits are fucking dreadful at the moment as well. Alright, if we just take the lion's share of these out, I should be able to either stay the night or rest up in that little shack, little trailer there. Come on, for fuck's sake. Risky though. Let's take these two out. Shit, there's two of them though. Fucking hell. It's like I'm hitting them with a the fucking lollipop or something. Just like inconveniencing them. Is that the lot? Hopefully I can actually open one of these fucking windows now. Ah, oh, come on. Oh no, that's fucking... That's out of order. I do need some food, so... Let's chop the fuck through here. For fuck's sake, that is a proper pain in the arse. Burger, ham, orange soda, right, that'll do. And I'm gonna have to keep moving as well. Which is a fucking shame. A real fucking shame. Um, Right, where the fuck am I? Okay, what have we got over here? I think, like I said, I think this is actually McCoy Login. I'm not too sure, it doesn't look like it. Looks like an empty concrete slab of shit. Which is uh, the last thing I actually need at the moment. So let's just keep fucking running this way. Oh, I'm completely baffled now. Hate getting lost. Fucking hate getting lost, especially at night. Right, let's take this road up, see what this fucking leads. Okay. Right, what have we got here? I've got a proper road, so. There we go. What the fuck is... Ah, oh, it's McCoy. Thank fuck for that. Right, that's somewhere to stay for the night anyway. It's getting to like half seven at night. Or like eight o'clock heading on four. So, if we can just get inside here. And, uh... Should be good as gold. Oh, shit. Really? How? Oh, that's not good. That is not good whatsoever. Right. Getting to the other side, I'm sure there's another part. Right, there we go. Right, we've got through here. Right, definitely not that way. Right, I'm actually going to stay in this locker room for tonight. Um, 
I should be alright hunger wise and stuff like that. And I think I could just sleep on this really fucking uncomfortable bench. And that alarm is annoying the shit out of me. Oh, there we go, it's gone off. So yeah, sleep on this bench and then hopefully, hopefully get back to the fort tomorrow. So I've woken up and it's going to be the test of opening this fucking door in case that alarm attracted any zombies last night. I don't know, seemed to be alright. And I think I actually know my way home from here, so I'm just going to fucking peg it to be honest. Hopefully get back and hopefully don't die of horrendous zombie shit. Horrendous zombie shit, whatever the hell that is. So let's head back down to this road that I actually came from. Should be down here. Probably not a good idea doing this in darkness, but I've not really got a choice. Alright, let's keep going. I think providing this road actually takes me out by I think by the Zippy Market or the Sunstorm Hotel, I think. Um, um hopefully should be good to go. Should be golden. I can head back to base, chill out, eat some fucking beans or something. And, uh, be good as fuck. Good as fuck, don't really know what that means, but... You know, fucks can be bad, fucks can be good. Let's head across, come on. Probably a bad idea going through all these fucking trees. In fact, this was a really fucking stupid idea. Oh no, there we go. Oh shit. Right, okay, so where are we? It's a zippy market? Yeah, right, zippy market. So, I think if I head... Uh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Are the traffic cones? I thought they were fucking zombies then. Right, so what have we got here? I've definitely been here before anyway. By the amount of fucking blood. Probably looted around this area and stuff like that, which is decent. So... Which fucking way's home? Gotta be north, I think. Let's just run through this little estate thing here. Really don't know where the fuck I am. I just completely lost my bearings. Like, I think that the trek back here was just completely fucked me up. Um, where the fuck am I? I do recognise some of this, I think. <laughs> um, it's gotta be north anyway. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm more north, probably more to the east as well, um, probably this way, okay, right, what have we got, got a barbecue house there, I don't actually think I've been to this area, oh shit, I'm fucking tired already as well, that's what you get from excessive sprinting, um, right, let's head back up, pretty certain that I'm further north, oh shit, some fence there, because I know my base was right by the farmer's market, so... Hmm. Let's head up, let's head up. How the fuck have I managed to get lost here? Like, this is the one place I generally know, like the back of my hand. But evidently not. And going through the woods isn't a fucking good idea either. Okay, where is this shit gonna take me out? A farm? A fucking f Am I right back at the farm, but... Oh, my fucking word. Right, I've gone far too north, I think. I think this is actually by the... The industrial? Um, yeah. It actually is. Holy shit. Well, at least I can get some rest here anyway. I think I've actually been here before to try and look for some jaws. Came here a few weeks ago. And there was fuck all here as well. Ah, that's a shame. Right, so what I'm going to actually do, um, just to kind of nullify my hunger, is drink a whole bottle of red wine. And that's going to get me absolutely twatted. And what I'm going to do is just have some rest. I'm going to go upstairs to do this. Just for the additional safety of a few more doors. Let's take a drink. Let's just fill the water bowl. Okay. I think I did actually sleep here one night. 
So we're going to have another sleep, or another rest anyway, and hopefully won't be completely twatted by the time I stand up. Uh, I've had a little rest, uh, it's now only 9.50 in the morning, and I'm pissed. So if that's not a sign of being an alcoholic, I don't know what it is, but I kind of know where I am now. But then again, I thought that maybe a minute ago, I didn't realise it ran that far north. So if I run back to the industrial, and I think I go south east from there, I think. Um, I think industrial should just be round one of these corners. This leads me back to the main road. I'm going to have to do it pretty quickly though. Um, I think I'm only maybe half a mile away, maybe a mile tops from my actual base. I'm carrying far too much shit, I've got enough food to kind of combat that or counteract that. There's a lot of trees seem to have come up. Uh, a lot, a lot of trees. But I think this is the industrial here. Yeah, there we go. Another industrial building. Which had put some fortifications around at some stage, I think. Let's just take a look. Yeah, there we go. So if all else fails, I can actually go back there and just, you know, sort that shit out and be good as shit. Good as shit, good as fuck, good as gold, you know. So let's just head down. A lot of fucking trapes around. Like a lot, a lot of trapes around. I'm trying to get shit back. Rarely get lost. And uh, this is what happens when I do. Right, it's just got to be down through here, I think. I know I'm carrying a bit too much, but I think the wine's actually slowed me down slightly. Um, yeah, I can imagine it would be quite hard to sprint after a whole bottle of fucking wine in your system. Right, so I can't be too far away from here, surely. So, I've managed to make it back, thank fuck. Um, that took a lot longer than expected, but back and I can harvest what I think are some carrots, some broccoli. I've got a tiny bit of food, unfortunately that is going to go to waste, um, unless I can eat it all, which I will try to. And there's quite a bit of rotten stuff here, unfortunately. It's like purpley style plants just popped up as well. Suppose it is fine. So let's just chuck the broccoli seeds into there. And I've got three water bottles. What else have we got? Don't need any of that shit out. I'm going to do a tiny bit of building. Get stuff going again. And, you know, I've got some stuff to fix some axes, some shit like that. Which I suppose is superb. I can actually drop my 15 duct tape. No wonder I was running pretty slow. And go from there. But pretty good few days. Uh, unfortunately I did get the jars. I didn't get the jars rather. And I uh, didn't get the lids either which I pretty, you know, I need pretty badly. Especially if I'm looking to do any farming over the winter and stuff like that. But decent amount of food. Still got a decent amount of shit. Here's all my canned stuff. And I've got like 14 cans. No, 13 cans of beans, 13 cans of soup, dog food when the time comes shitload of tuna and some stuff like that but I'm gonna have a rest and uh, get building and hopefully fortify this fucker up some more just need uh, shit the water's gone off need a drink of water I think Let's just fill that water bottle and uh, should be pretty good to go pretty good to go just gonna tidy up some grass as well but stuff's coming along and I'm gonna have to head to West Point in the next week or so and find these jars and lids so as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.